Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time, we took on Punchinello, got our third star already. And, uh, yeah, we're very quickly progressing through this story. And, uh, yeah, we met Bowser, who, uh... Pretty quickly left. But, uh, Peach is here, and let's go save her. It's locked. What's the matter, Mario? Is the door not opening or something? <laughs> uh, I'm a piece of work, ain't I? Hold up. Guys, there's a wind side now. Oh, this power and looks too. I know, I know. You're thinking. Big strong like him. Great to have along, right? I'm gonna do something I may regret later. I'll let you join my minions. You can thank me later. Bowser and his friends have joined Bowser's minions. That's how they're pretending. Bowser joins the group! Yes! Bowser is a party member! Would you like to explain this nation? No! Now you're four, but you still fight as three. These three will fight. While our pals will rest. Simply choose to. You wish to switch! Maya must always fight, though. He is the party leader. When you really success, have a against the row, you can ally buff. The buff's different for every ally in battle, but only counts for the active party members. Turn it out. Now we'll find the powers, see what you'll get. So, let's add him to the party as he is our new guy. Do you know. No, do you know. You can, you can take a rest, do you know, while we use a Bowser. Bowser, to give a quick summary, is a physical beast. Let's give him the antidote pin just because we have nothing better. Actually, no, we'll give him the true form pin. And this, he's even more reliant on his physical attacks. Uh, currently, as terrorized, he has access to uh, the status effects fear and poison. Oh, he will, rather. And, uh, I think his, his spells are terrible. He's a terrible magic attacker. He is your physical... He's a physical beast in your... In a tank. He is... But he's very slow, and his magic is poor. The only reason I have his first two have status effects. They're also costly. Even more of a reason to not use them. And I didn't mean to get into this, but I uh, sniff it. Do I smell some? A last thing to mention on Bowser is his gain bonus is defense, and his card suit in the original was was a diamond. Now, uh, let's take someone else. If you opt for a Magic Mario and you're playing the original, he's probably gonna be someone you wanna have along. Especially if you went with a purely Magic Geno as well. Which, while I didn't really recommend it here, uh, due to him just giving the attack buff, there is actually a legitimate reason to do so in the original. I will admit, I didn't scan that guy. Now we'll fight more. Also, everyone get the XP. Why was this never a stated feature that could do it even on the SNES? Oh, that boost is busy right now. I can't play. Come back in my time where you can try and force your way in. 
Oh, that's mute. So, uh, let's put a quick coffee. I'm not bad enough for this. So, I would call the team we have now the coverage team. Because it covers pretty much everything in terms of weaknesses. This is obviously a little more coverage we can have if we were to have the... Because there's still two more aspects we don't have. But put simply, you can exploit almost every weakness and, uh... Well, I think it's better to show than tell. As I fill the gate. And let's just see their team attack. Clown Cabarage! Fire, ice, and lightning damage. Our first source of light ice at all, actually. And it's finished by a big blast. Another reason I call it the coverage team. Because this attack will exploit every weakness to anything that isn't jump. Jump is the only attack type not covered there. Oh, you were sitting in the corner. It's bad for him. Go away, King Tom. I'm not playing fed with you. And, uh, only one damage from the plant. And, yeah, that thing's a healer. I will admit, Malice Pop Keep. Well, kind of cool. It tells you weakness in this version. In, in the original, it only told you health and that little bit of extra dialogue. It's not nearly as helpful as the leader. Well, Paper Mario's tattle. The Goomba Patton's tattle from the Paper Mario games. I might as well just name what it is that does it better. The boost to the first. Boost to the second. Boost to the third. Boost to the fourth. Boost to the fifth. Boost to the sixth. And I think it's presumable that was boosted to the seventh, or maybe it was the sixth. Well, I sucked. You know what? I, uh. Oh, I really sucked, because there is also a new enemy there. You know what, let's be terrorized. Scare him good. This is a attack that induces fear. Spin the control stick round and round. And yeah, you get some light damage. Mallow definitely helps do you do more damage. <laughs> it's a cool, cruel world. Everyone's got this thing, suppose. And now Bowser, take him down! Yeah, it's presumable that was the most recent. I don't know if that was booster 7 or 8. Or, or 6, rather. I, I am going to hide in this corner. And just... Realized I missed that there. What's a big rush? And here's the not Wario himself, because I'm pretty sure this might have came before Wario. I'm Booster! This is my favorite tower of amusement! Normally I work on busy and supply with me and my snifters! However, a grill fell out of the sky into my lap recently! I did, and I've been busy keeping her happy and entertained. No longer have time to play, so please enjoy yourself at your own risk, that is. Now we get the very good. Boost the tower music that's gonna immediately be interrupted. Okay, we got it back though! Nothing back there. Just kinda wanna check around the corners to see if there's anything, because they could find a flower tab. Good things for exploration. These are new enemies, believe it or not. Raw bomb! Instead of the bar bomb.
My ultimate system is nothing, yes. Might as well go out with a bang. Thank you, that's sad. Uh, it's been a while since we've used two, but um, not really my favorite attack. Let's use it though, because he is weak to it. I unfortunately stuck and only got three hits. Yeah, I've made it no secret, I'm not a big Magic Mario fan. Mario's magic's kinda boring. What was that loud noise? Check out Booster Pass. I believe this might end up taking us down. Yeah. It's very easy to miss that. I'm going to go check out Booster Pass since we might as well since we've already just been sent back to this entrance. So we might as well grab this now. Kind of already saw me attempt to do this. And I'm going to actually see if that makes me come from the front entrance. Yes, it does. Very cool. Yeah, we can take this tunnel, which somehow leads to us being very high up in you. Oh, you're that famous fire guy! If I beat you, don't make me stiff stiff number four! Yes, if you actually lose to him, he will become stiff the number four. And in fact, number five will show up here. It's a cool little detail, but... I don't feel like losing. But I will, uh, let Bowser defend, just because I need to pop deep him. He's a rare enemy. Being in front of the stuff. I can't take much more. Punches like that, Maya! Oh, now I'm gonna do Dragon Quest over again. Keep going for. Our MP! Or FP. A croak hole oh, in a frog coin. Drop down, and this happens. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna head right back up to the tower, keep going through it. Now we- and I really- I'm really glad we have Bowser now. He's a really good party member, and in fact, we can actually complete one of the- Well, I consider the best remake party. Mallow, you can take a rest. Gino, you can come with until we find a new enemy. Also, new to the remake, you can switch allies in battle! Worth mentioning now, if an ally ever falls up, falls unconscious, gets knocked out, and you swap them out, you can't swap them back in, so... Make sure you don't care if they go down. There's only one way we don't have yet potentially revive party members who are not active during battle. Fence up and Bowser, give him a double attack, too. And I'm glad it's not that big, long way up, because this is a pain to line up and get. Uh. Okay, shoot that guy. Punch that guy. And uh, as you guess, Bowser Pell's really well with Gino in the remake. Due to the fact that both of them are physical attackers, and Gino gives the physical attack buff. The physical patty is what I call this, and the only weakness is no healing. The magic attackers get all the healing, unless you build Ma Mario to be magical. Which I still don't recommend, because it's nice to always have that one guy to just reliably do physical damage and not really need to worry about wasting more FP on free people's turn. 
Personally, I do prefer that. To n That's why I prefer physical Mario. That and he has the best weapon in the game for his ultimate weapon. The, the strongest weapon of them all. But uh, we got the triple move set up, so let's use it. Shooting Star Shot! Hits five random targets, or hits five times on random targets, and buffs the party. What does that buff do? Good question. It doesn't label it, so I don't know. Could be attack, could be defense, could be both. Could be something entirely different. I'm not sure what the buff actually does. Nor is any other source I looked at while researching this. Because nothing labels what it actually buffs. Found the master. Let's take a look at it. And yeah, it's better. I almost never get this weapon. It's only one that doesn't have a pretty basic naming scheme as well. Based out of the hammers, because all the hammers follow the same naming scheme as Maya's bells, with the exception of the masher. Uh, let's real quick see in battle. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much identical to the first hammer. Except better in stats. Doesn't even really have a unique animation, and, uh... You know, I think I'm gonna have you go on the sidelines. I, I really use the physical party a lot when I play this game. Because, put simply... They are the best. The magic party does good damage, but it doesn't do any damage via it. Like, it has... Some problems to it. Then, as well, I do like the coverage teams. The mixed teams are kind of cool. They're not the best. It's not the best when you have flashing buff, especially with the way I'm building Physical Mayo. This probably the second worst team we're using now. And, uh, yeah, just hit him with the symbols. Completely missed the timing. Forget I'm not using Mario's fist anymore. Bowser's gonna get a level. If you want to invest in health, I will say now, Mario just putting a point into everything, every level, is the only other example. Bowser might want some health since he is the tank. Personally, I just prefer to put everything to his attack, especially with the remake. It is worth mentioning, whatever stat you want to buff for your chain buff, like to get a better boost out of it, you almost always want to do that. Because Bowser's a physical attacker, he has the defense stuff buff for physical defense. Same will go for our last party member, who, as you can probably guess, yeah, they have the magic defense buff. It's kind of the only stat that isn't there. I don't mind mentioning that now. Something kind of cool is, yeah, 8 bit Mario running around. And if, but if you try to leave, that's going to happen. Three of if you wait too long. Cool little reference. Uh, I'm just gonna jump beside those guys. Why is it there? Are not new enemies in any way. I'm pretty sure this is late. I'll be right back. Another recent fresh OBS. Fight me! The blaster is new enemy. First attack, ask question later. Blast first, ask question later. That's what it says. Mash him, Mario! 
And, uh... Yeah, that's you what you normally do, Bowser. Claw and, uh... Claw, that's actually just all you do. Your claw. And then, uh, we'll just keep that. Uh... Bonk. Boom! Just keep hitting him. I'm pretty sure it has really good physical defense, and we're kind of running low on, uh, things. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. Because, like, I like the maple... I feel like still keeping honey syrup on me, because, like... It works great for just quickly filling outside of battle. We're reached level 9 on Mallow already. And, uh... Well, that was almost bad. Just gonna pop a couple of those. And actually, you appear to be a new enemy. Hmm, that's what they we're having. Oh. Guess not. I mean, I guess he is just another sniff there. Those guys are really predictable, so I'm just gonna run around them. It is important that you save at some point in here. You really... There's something you really want and don't want to mess up. The key to get in. Collect the boost payment report in order. Uh, you were the first. You were the last. Hey, you were the second. Nope, get it wrong, you gotta fight. But like, what are they gonna do? We have good physical attackers. You bring Gino, like, they really can't do anything, actually. So I know that one's the first. Maybe it was this one? Nope. Get used to this. I completely forgot the order. I'm also completely forgetting the timing on that attack. I know it's not that second one right next to it. Apparently it's the one right next to it! You know what, just cast Thunderbolt, Mallow. Well, I missed that command completely, so I'm glad that missed as well. Yeah, you can kind of see why normally I really like having Dino in the party with Bowser. Is it you now? Nope! Storm them! And then whenever I get a perfect, they'll take both of them out. I think that guy was the fourth. Nope, he's the fifth. Just hit them like that. Very easy change. And Mal is actually getting really close to his next bell as well, which, like, dang, I did not expect that. Only Gino's really not that close, and that's only because he has an extra level before he reaches it. Man, the man himself just gave me a key. Found the Elder Key. I'm gonna end of this vault, and, uh...
the gaze into each other's eyes longingly. My, right, she's a bitch. I look the other way. Well, yeah. <laughs> you can turn around now. Just she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Bruce's, and now she wants to help stir up a little trouble. <laughs> Got the chain charm for 18 charm. And I put that to Bowser. As it is a preferred weapon we'll be using for a while. Chain Chomp's are one of his weapon types. He technically has three, albeit one of them. There's only one of it the entire game. And it's not his best. And one of them is also... And I will say, there's only one... I feel like that they only repeat any of his weapons once. Like, there are not multiple of anything in the original. I will say that. I, I kind of have mixed up exactly now that I say that out loud. And uh, yeah, expect this to run through a lot of these, like, sock here. Lava bubbles. Well, at least you finally have a reason to be weak to ice that actually has a reason to exist. Yeah, practically guaranteed to strike for weakness. He's just gonna level up because he was one away. Not gonna bring that up. Don't think I wasn't. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to brute force it because I don't know these guys' patterns. I don't know what the secret is supposed to be. But I suck. Just gonna electrocute the lava or the blue fire. Wouldn't really call this lava. Fire Saber! Uh, I think that's the first example of actual offensive magic that isn't multi target. Yeah, you couldn't block those in the original game, you can here. That's another one of the improvements they made. And uh, yeah, Chain Chomp will just kind of bite the flip out of their face. Really mad about being locked up as long as they have been. Here is the key. Fortunately, we have to go through this guy. Or these guys, sorry. Nope, not Poppy. We've already done that. And uh, fun both again! And one more because I can't make the door without something going even slightly wrong. Or at least slightly wrong, more accurately. Yeah, I guess Mallow and Gino would probably make these battles go faster since we could guarantee the first turn, or we would just have the first turn. But, I don't care. Zoom is true. That, I believe, is... Yep. Oh, that's a lot of stats up. Um... Oh, who do I want to give those to? Mayo could be quite fast, but I don't know if I actually... I don't really want him to be... Maya does that one time about it. The only thing he can do is damage. He doesn't learn any kind of supportive magic at all. So it's not really that useful to have him be really fast, except to outspeed enemies. I'm gonna give that to Bowser, I think. To kind of slightly mitigate his, uh... His poor speed. Well, slightly is an understatement. He's faster than Mario now! Wait, he's faster than Mallow now! He's as fast as Gino! Ah, uh, he can just take back the 
some form pin for now. Dang, Bowser! Can you take a chill? Like, those shoes make him faster than Mallow. Dang. Zoom is... Zoom shoes are right. Unfortunately, it's also not exactly the best. Actually, I think I might just give that back to uh, Mallow. A little more reliable, just quick damage. In fact, I am gonna do that. Where I'll just take the wake up pin from you for now. And you can take the zoom too. Become the fastest person here. Hopefully, be able to outspeed all the enemies. And just immediately chalk them, or in this case, use Bob Peep. I kind of prefer, I prefer having that stats candy because those are like the two you really don't want to see on your magic users. The only other one that would be maybe as bad is, uh... Now, uh, I'll just terrorize. Just for the sake of it, spread some damage around. Got a decent chain going, not risen enough. Uh, Iron Maiden is apparently fear, which I did not know. Just gonna give him a shot. Again, for their weakness. Chugga chugga chugga. Wow, chugga chugga. Oh, this is my personal way of way. Yeah. Yeah, my, you get it. What made you made this round? Well, yes, quite amazing you are. Listen to you, maybe you pull something up for me. My breath be chanting, Mario, help me, Mario, help me, Mario, help me. Is she showing her happiness? Hey, wait a second, maybe Mario is another cat. What the fuck is Mario she keeps talking about? Then take my breath away, why don't you take this instead? I'm gonna just hide here. <laughs> yeah, you can just hide in this, like, portrait thing. I don't know why he has this. That didn't do it! Yeah, I ran out of bombs. Well, so long! Okay, I can't read that. Oh! That was a little cheap. Nope, nothing there. It just felt like there should be. Uh, state block generally means boss fight, but we have auto save, so I'm not going to. For once, when auto save doesn't save over your slave card, it is a saving grace, I will be frank. Auto save is your worst nightmare in any game with one save slot. If as a let's player, but if you have multiple, then it no, then it's not. It, oh god! Oh god! I just thought what was up ahead. And uh, we've come quite a bit. I think I'm gonna end this here. See y'all next one. Bye bye.